as so far in the previous videos we have discussed about the components and learned that component is nothing but the most important building block of any angular application in this particular video we will discuss how to create your own component so basically component is nothing but a typescript based class which we can export to some another component as well and the same component can import some of the predefined components so are uh, the main building blocks of angular it is created using typescript class and decorators when i say decorators we would have seen that there is something at the component at the top of the class by the time we are defining any component so basically that particular decorator also works as the metadata of that particular component so that class can contain properties and methods properties which will store the value that will be having some specific data type as we are working with typescript and the methods that may or may not return a value and would be containing some set of instructions so you can create both these things inside a class and you will decorate them like how you want to utilize these things that you will tell it all inside the decorator decorator contains template template url styles selectors etc when you put any decorator you can tell these details like template where you put a sample or smaller html text template url if you put the complete html in a separate file you can give the url here styles if you want to put some style sheets into your component and selectors like a particular tag using which you can render this particular component to an angular application so let's see a practical implementation of how we will create the component in angular so let's start discussing more about the components as here you can see in this app component we have this attribute component all right in which there are two options that is selector and template now you can observe like when i am passing this template it is not the single quote like this one but it is a backtick character backtick character is the same key in which you can find the tilde symbol that is this one so in the same key if you will press it without the shift button you will find this backtick character so basically you can pass the single quotes also here or the double quotes but in case if you are passing the one line template only as here you can see i have made the changes and still i am getting the result so as you know that when i will save the changes the changes will be reflected right there in the browser so you don't have to worry much about refreshing the browser so as here you can see if i am passing single quotes on even then it is running fine but the moment you will separate this one to the multiple line it will stop working basically so let me save it now and as soon as i will save it and it will be refreshed you see it is just showing me loading and nothing else if i'll press f12 to see the console you will find a list of errors right there all right that is the unexpected token so in that particular case you will not be able to mention it but again if i will replace this single quote with the backtick characters like previous and will save it again i will start getting this page in the proper way as i was getting it earlier as you can see it now similarly if you want if you have a big markup here big html which you want to pass as a template then in that particular case it is suggested to create an different html page all right so let me do one thing i will just copy this html let me at least cut this and we'll create a new file here we'll paste the same semantics all right and let me put some more things and let's save that in the same directory with the name app dot component dot html you can't change the name of this all right you will have to keep it in the same name i will tell you why so i'll save it as an html file so 
here is the HTML option so let me just save it and now it is saved alright so as you can see I have made the changes and now we'll have to do one more change that is I will change this template to template URL with U in caps alright and right after that I will have to pass the path of this so how will I plan that let's see the folder structure for that so basically this is my index.html inside this we have app and inside this I have app.component.html so that is what we'll have to do app slash app dot component dot html all right let me see the web page now you can see it is not showing you anything all right so now let me save it and it is getting refreshed and now it is displaying the complete data all right so basically it is taking the things from this component dot html all right from this web page so as I said if it is a small markup you can just pass template and you can put all the semantics inside the quotation or you can just pass the complete markup in a separate HTML file and you can browse it from here using template URL option so this is about using the component in angular